sweet. Ronnie, family, and uh, Peter, good to see you. Hey, uh, welcome aboard, everybody. Uh, welcome to our little zero-G fantasy land. And uh, it's great to have you guys in Mission Control. Yeah, we understand you're going to provide us some entertainment this evening. You know, <laughs> NASA flight Trek made us close our windows today. We can't even look out the windows all night. So, yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> They're guilty. So it's good to see you guys and have uh, have somebody to talk to on the planet Earth. How are you guys doing? We're doing fantastically. We're having an amazing day down here, and uh, all, all the more exciting for seeing you guys. And I, I gather we got uh, drums and guitar loaded up there. Is that right? We have. Uh, we don't have drums, but we have drum sticks. And we have things to bang on, but I can't tell you what they are because the flight director sitting next to you again. But uh, we do have musical talent on board. Chris, Chris is like he, he has almost a living as a musician, as a second life. I uh, I would love to have the talent to do that, but I don't have it. And Tom has it, uh, but uh, we uh, we all we all share the love of it, and uh, we like seeing you on the ground. I'm gonna let you guys talk. Because it's such a pleasure to have you on board. Hopefully, we'll get to spend just a little time, and maybe the kids can ask some questions or something if they want to. Uh, I can see it's uh, Jimi Hendrix "Eat Your Heart Out," right, with his guitars. Say hello. Say hello. 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 Hello.
All right, well, they're treating you well down there. Uh, what else you got to see? Oh, yeah, no, uh, we have to keep the, the youngest of our uh, clan here uh, well fed. But uh, uh, he's doing very well, and we've, we've been fed, and, and look, I think Luke's just showing off what we're eating. But uh, I know Isaac had a question. You, Oh, he just wanted to ask, I think, if, if people were interested in the scuba diving before you did your training. If you had any, any uh, divers uh, interested in, uh, in diving in marine life before you did the training. As a matter of fact, uh, yes. You know, we love exploration. We love going places where humans uh, don't usually go, and it takes a little bit of technology and, and a little special training to go there. As a matter of fact, uh, Hatfield and I, when we started training for this mission two and a half, almost three years ago, we started off uh, on a scuba trip. We lived underwater in a laboratory on the bottom of the ocean for two weeks, and we left the habitat with our deep sea uh, um, suits on and uh, did some research and did some exploration down there. So uh, the, the two are very similar in a lot of ways, uh, living in little modules and tight spaces, but seeing absolutely incredible and beautiful things that are, are very rare to, to have a chance to see. So, uh, yeah, I think for most astronauts, uh, scuba diving is very much a, a part of their past and is, a, uh, is a, a love that many of them have. Fantastic. And Fort Wayne, is, is that Kevin? Because, no, I used to spend quite a long time in, in Fort Wayne, and uh, we had a promoter from Fort Wayne, and so um, I think they would book us when no one else was interested. <laughs> well, the truth is I just got off of uh, talking to a school in Fort Wayne tonight, and uh, my sister lives there, and she supplied me with this shirt. So I, I knew I would be in trouble when I went back to the planet if I didn't show up for at least part of the event in this Fort Wayne t-shirt. And uh, so we just finished that, and we were just having a bite when we got the call that you were in mission control. So uh, that's why we just didn't know. We, we, we usually dress up just a little bit more for the events tonight. We're kind of uh, heading toward bed in about an hour. Uh, we turn in, and everything has to be quiet on the space station tonight for a very special experiment going on where we have to be really careful. So uh, we're just kind of uh, in our wind down there. What's yeah, this is uh, this is uh, called Space Station Casual right here. Uh, it's very elegant. What's the uh, what's the experiment you're working on tonight? It's called Barangoni, and what it is actually is a liquid bridge. So what they do is uh, actually make a, a tube-like structure made of liquid, something you absolutely cannot do on the ground. Uh, you, you need a very, um, very fine zero gravity to do it. And then they apply a temperature gradient across it. So basically what this is doing is looking at fluid physics, things you can only talk about in a physics textbook. They're actually looking at it and studying it and able to determine exactly how the fluid and the temperature differences behave. And in some ways, you know, discovering new physical principles based on that. You know, we don't have to guess anymore. They can actually find out what it's like up here in uh, the zero G of the space station.